Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on June the 14th, 2016. The title of the message is Nature Lovers. And the Lord Jesus began, My bride, you are maturing. Yes, you are weary, but you have learned to work and wait. I hear the whisper of your heart. I see how tired you are of this world. For the first time ever, you have realized that you do not belong in this world. The world feels alien to you. You feel like you're in the wrong place. Unless you're in the company of other brides, you do not fit anywhere else. The speech of the world tires you. You do not find pleasure in worldly things that gave you pleasure once. Now, those sinful activities are repulsive to you. You do not even have the slightest desire to pursue worldly ways. You find yourself more attracted to nature. A change has come over you. You desire to go outside and sit under the shade of a tree and listen to the birds sing, watch the squirrels scurry around, admire the brilliant colors of the birds, and watch as butterflies flap around in the wind. At night, you listen to the croaking of frogs and the chirping of crickets. You go outside at night to look up at the stars and you imagine yourself soaring through the sky. If you live near hills and mountains, all you desire to do is climb up the hill to find a spot to sit and enjoy the surrounding landscape. Those who live by rivers and brooks find themselves going to sit by the river, not necessarily to fish, but to listen to the gurgling of the brook, to watch the dragonflies skim the water and skip rocks across the water. Some find themselves going to the park to feed ducks. My brides are drawn to nature. Many do not find solace in watching TV anymore. They are grieved by the gross scene they watch or listen to on TV. So they turn it off and instead go outside to enjoy nature. Others find themselves walking in the rain. Others sit indoors listening to the patter of the raindrops on the roof. Yes, my bride is drawn to nature. She finds pleasure in watching bees search for nectar, smelling flowers and watching ants build their ant hills. Yes, my bride has learned to appreciate nature. Sometimes she sits outside just to enjoy the sun and watch the clouds. Your pets give you much pleasure as you watch them play. You find pleasure in the littlest of things. You enjoy walking on a blanket of autumn leaves, captivated by the blossoming of spring flowers. And if it snows, you are out in it, if only for a moment. You find peace as you study the pristine white snow. It reminds you of purity a new beginning. In the summer season, you find yourself walking by the seashore, enjoying the feel of wet sand under your feet. Yes, my bride finds pleasure in the works of my hand. You are subconsciously getting ready to come home, for these are the things you will enjoy in heaven. There is no sitting in front of a TV all day in heaven. No, my people are out and about on an adventure, discovering new things, learning new things, studying new things. Your curiosity will know no bounds in heaven. For the animal lovers, there are all types of animals in heaven and they do not bite or kill each other or you. They live peacefully with each other and with man. For the book lovers, there are libraries in heaven, not just one, but many. You will have more books than you can read in a hundred lifetimes. For those who love to work with children, there are many, many little children who need your care and love, and they are not disobedient or rebellious. For those who love mountains, hills, rivers, all these are found in heaven. Whatever your heart desires, you will find in heaven. Of course, keep in mind, there is no evil or carnality in heaven. Only holy desires are fulfilled in heaven. Yes, my bride, you are tired of living in this world and you are getting ready to come home. That is why you are drawing away from sins and getting attracted to nature. You are coming home, my brides. You are coming home. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.